Hello everyone and welcome to today's Pokemon unboxing that I am so 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 excited to do with you all because the new generation is here. We have got Scarlet and Violet. I I'm just, I'm so excited. I actually played through one of the games. I just say that like it's an accomplishment because like I haven't. I played through the first like many Pokemon games, you know, red, blue, gold, silver, yellow, all that business, crystal. And then I fell off of Pokemon. And then I started watching Pokemon games get played through, but I haven't personally played through a game again until Scarlet and Violet. I played through Violet and it was really fun and I'm excited. I have, you know, favorites of the new gen of Pokemon. I have some non-favorites for sure, but we've got the little babies here and I'm just, I was so excited to crack into this booster box with you guys. See all of the new changes that Pokemon has done with the cards. I know it's a lot, I've heard anyways, and I'm just, I'm really excited to see it all in person. So let me, oh boy, I don't know where my, my little scissors are. All right, I guess here we go. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't get any lip gloss on the cards. I am so excited to crack on into this box. I know there's definitely some chase cards here. So we'll see if I can get any luck with my box. But the wrapper has come off. I'm opening the top punch out the display of Miraidon. And here we have it! I'm so excited! Let's go ahead and start opening! Can you see the booster box in the background? It feels like it's been so long since I've opened up a booster box. I mean, when was the last set? Silver Tempest? Here we go. We're starting on the left, of course. As always, we have got Coridon. That's how we would... I have such a hard time. My brain wants to roll the R's, but we're gonna do it English way, because I'm an American, darn it. So let's go ahead and open the pack. Oh yeah, there's no pack trick now. Yes, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to all of these new, new things. I also hear that there's no... Like, I don't know if they messed up and did the code cards wrong, but the black and white borders, they mean nothing, at least in this first set. So here you go, yeah, have it upside down, enjoy. Code card, although we do have an energy in the back, right? So at least that's nice. Oh, look at those silver borders. That's so crazy to see that even on the energy. I know we're saying silver, right? We're calling them silver, they're, they're gray. They're gray. Uh, isn't silver inherently shiny? But either way, energy. The first energy I get is a darkness energy. Uh, let's hope that this opening is not dark. Oh god, and the first Pokemon I get is Bruxish? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. But, okay, I also hear there's like tons of shine. You're guaranteed at least a hollow, so I know I see shininess at the back, but that could just mean that I got like the worst kind of a pack. So, let's see. I'm just, I was so happy to see this artwork. Look at Cacnea. Fits in so perfectly in the Paldea setting. Oh, it's gonna take me a while, Sandile, uh, with Comia's artwork, beautiful. It's gonna take me a while to get used to these gray borders. It looks nice, but it also looks so foreign. Just how many years has it been? Over 25 years that we've had the yellow borders. But we've got a gorgeous Sato illustration of Mareep. We love to see it. A nest ball, a Pachirisu looking so cute. And then We've got a picnic basket, and then we're getting into our reverses. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Again, another Sato artwork. Come on, you can't go wrong. This Slowpoke artwork, have we ever seen better? It's gorgeous. And we've got the new reverse hollow pattern on the card. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't hate it, I don't love it, but it's there and I'm okay with it. So we got Slowpoke. Oh, <laughs> so that's 
that's how we're starting off, huh? We're starting off with a gold card, a nest ball. Can we get anything else? Uh, no, we've got, oh, my boy, Miraidon. Yeah, so it's just a hollow. So this is like the lowest form you can get, but it still looks amazing with the hollow on the actual border of the cards. This is how Japan has done it. I wouldn't say always, because like in base set and stuff, theirs were the same as ours, where it wasn't on the border. However, they've been doing it for a while, haven't they? I'm not making that up, but Miraidon, you look amazing. I'm sorry though, you don't count as a hit, even though you're a hollow. But this nest ball, however, I love it. Yes. I mean, I love gold cards, right? I mean, we could have done better. I don't know that you can get more than one gold card in a box. Has that ever been done? I know you can get a gold and a rainbow. At least you used to be able to. I have done it before once, I think, if I'm not remembering incorrectly. And I've certainly seen it done before. Uh, but the gold cards, I love gold Pokemon. I love gold balls. <laughs> And I love golden energies. So getting this nest ball is so exciting to me. I think I would have rather gotten the golden Maridon, but I'm not about to start complaining here. I love this golden nest ball. It's beautiful. Look at that with the gold, the gold swirlies in the background, the texture, it looks great. And I mean, in our first pack, like, that's incredible. Um, we've also got the Terraform Gyarados here for another artwork. Someone's apparently texting me. They're so excited about that first pack pull. I'm excited too. I think what there's the, they did it with Arcanine and Gyarados in this set, pandering to the Gen 1 people of the world. I don't know why they picked those two Pokemon. Does anyone know? I certainly don't, at least in my playthrough of Violet. It's not like, uh, there was, oh, I guess, you know what? We're gonna do all the code cards upside down. I know that might annoy those of you that actually go for the code cards. However, at least then maybe it'll slow people down and you'll have more of a chance at getting a code card. So let's see, let's see how we do. So, Scatterbug. We've also got beautiful trainer galleries that we can look forward to in this set, I am sure. We've got my babies, Brigatito, or Weed Cat as I called it in my game. We've got Flittle, who I played with for a little bit. So weak, though. <laughs> I had to get rid of it. Uh, Crocodile. Once it evolves, powerful. But it just took too darn long. I Yeah. Flamigo. I do like the name, but, like, could we have done... We could have done more with this book. It's a flamingo. Okay? <laughs> we have got Fortress. We have got... Ooh, that is a reverse rare. Did I get... I don't think... There's no way Slowpoke was a reverse rare. Okay, I was gonna say, did we get one in the last pack? Uh, Armor Rouge, am I pronouncing that correctly? There we go, I know a lot of people like this character. I like the other form better, personally. Uh, but there we go, for a reverse rare. <laughs> so cute, look at this Pachirisu. Yes, I think this is, yeah, just one of the non-textured, like, basic art gallery cards. There's a whole new system, my friends. I suppose I could have seen that on the nest ball, too, but, like, with the stars and the rarity, I can't even begin to pretend like I have that under control yet in my brain. But either way, this is, this is a Pachirisu art rare, and it's so cute. It reminds me of the Pichu Bros card from back in the day. Oh, that is adorable. Ooh, and we have something behind. No, we don't. It's just a hollow. Okay, but Slowbro, we love to see it. This is not Komia artwork, but it does remind me of it with the background. But the Pokemon doesn't look like a Komia artwork. But really cool looking Slowbro. The hollow is much, it's very mirrory. It's, I mean, it's certainly got the rainbow to it but it's very reflective. I like it. It looks really nice on the card, but cool. We technically got a double. So I guess the best you could do would be a triple banger, right? Like if I would have gotten the reverse rare, an art card, and then something behind it. I don't know what I could have gotten behind it since the gold nest ball was in that second slot to the last. So like, can you get a full art in that last slot? Surely, surely you can do better than a hollow in that last slot. Otherwise there technically would be a trick, a card trick, a pack trick, right? Right? 
I mean, theories. <laughs> I, like I said, this is a semi, semi blind unboxing. I clearly, oh, nope, habits, habits. They die hard, that's for sure, but let me collect myself. Silicobra, okay, Bisharp. I'm just, I'm so excited to be looking at these new artworks. I'm sorry if I, I forget my words for a second, but like gorgeous, gorgeous. I've got Bombardier, there's a new Pokemon, Hypno, the Beach Court. We have got Squawkabilly as a reverse. We have also got Squovet as a reverse, very cute. And then we have got Indeedy. I didn't get rid of the energy. I was gonna say there's another card back there, but Indeedy for our hollow rare. Okay. Let's move on. Maridon, can you can you give us some good stuff? I'm just this is just this is so exciting. I don't know. It feels like forever ago since Silver Tempest came out. So it just feels like it's been so long since I've seen a new set, even though that's not true. We had and we still have, because they're still releasing it. Ah, uh, Crown Zenith. Couldn't think of the name there. I'm so focused on Scarlet and Violet Houndor. They really are. They're giving us a lot of the old generations here of the Pokemon. I'm surprised we're not seeing more of the new ones. I I hate this Pokemon, you guys. I feel like a lot of people kind of like it. I don't know, something about it. It really... I just don't like it. <laughs> We've got a Magikarp, a Rocky Helmet. I also don't like these dog Pokemon. They just... I mean, I know with Arvin, the storyline and everything, but... Here's a waifu card that I know is worth like thousands of dollars. Not this one. Obviously, I'd be a lot more excited about it. <laughs> but the full art. I mean, it is a really cute, cute artwork. I would be pleased to get it. Even if it wasn't worth a ton of money. It's really cute. I would love to get it. But let's see. We've got a Heracross for a reverse. We have got a Pokemon Catcher for a reverse. And then we have got another Hollow. But this is my starter baby, Masquerada. So I am happy to get it. Very cool to see. Oh my gosh. I've never noticed before. There's like a leaf pattern on the inside of Masquerada's cape. I guess I'm always seeing it from the back. So I, I I never noticed that before but all right there we go my friends it feels so weird not putting hollows into my hit pile it feels like we have not gotten many hits because of that but i am just I'm so happy to be here i know i'm gonna say it a million times but this new set i'm just really excited about it here let's get rid of the energy we've got an electric energy let's see if that brings us the goods somehow. Okay, Scatterbug. I do, I still feel so weird not doing a pack trick. Sprigatito. This is the artwork we saw in those collection boxes, isn't it? I think it is. Sandaconda for the promos. Katie, very cute. I like her. Star Raptor. We've got a Curlia for a reverse. We've also got a Go Goat for a reverse. And then we have got a Hollow Howlucha for a Hollow. I said it was hollow already, didn't I? Uh, either way, let's keep going. Let's see what we can do. Our pull rate's really bad for this set. They might be, I hope not. I mean, Pokemon technically kind of increased pull rates by making every pack have at least a hollow and then also giving you two reverses. So, I mean, you're guaranteed more shiny cards, basically, in each pack. It's also increased the price of Pokemon cards, which like they were already an expensive hobby. Like we didn't need that. I don't think anyways. And I don't know that anyone is too much of a reverse card collector, reverse holo card collector, that they're like super happy about the price increase just for that. I don't know. Let me know. We've got an experience share. So does that mean there's something behind this? Does that mean there's something behind this? So we got a reverse. We got a hollow. Did I get shorted? I only got one reverse in this pack. How many cards did I get in this pack? I don't know what, what? Why has this happened? I feel ripped off. I only got one reverse. That just happened, right? <laughs> It was on camera, right? We're still here, right? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? It's hard enough to get used to the new stuff and then for them to throw something like that and I'm just, I'm so confused. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. See what I mean? People love this Pokemon enough that they gave it two artworks. I don't like, same with this one. Don't even get me started. I 
hate this Pokemon <laughs> so much. Okay, so let's see. I love the new Doug Trio and the new Diglett. They're so cute. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, we got Sandaconda for a reverse. We got another reverse, a Drifloon. And then we got a hollow of another starter though, so that's good. I hate this starter, you guys. It makes me so uncomfortable, the way that it shimmies and shakes. I never needed to see a duck move like that. I just... No, thank you. It's not for me. But uh, I know there are fans out there. Fans for the wrong reasons, fans for the right reasons. But uh, yeah, we're not doing so good, are we? It's been a minute since I've been able to add anything to the hit pile. Our pull rate's really bad for this set. Yikes. I mean, I hope not. We started out so good with that first pack. I got all excited. And now I'm a little scared. So we have a Loma Mola. Very nice. We have Breloom. I love Breloom. So cute. And then we got a hollow cleft key. It's a hollow keychain. I mean, I would like, see, and this is, I don't like that they're turning hollows into things that are not so, I don't know, maybe it's because I grew up in the generation of cards where like, if you got a hollow, you scored the biggest you could score. Like you were so lucky to get a hollow. That was really, really exciting to get a hollow. And now that you get a hollow in every pack, I don't like that it's making it just feel like a throwaway card. Because hollows are still special. That's so cute. What a cute artwork. I think hollows are still special. It's still really cool to see the Pokemon in hollow card form. Tatsugiri, very cute. And love the art for that. Uh, let's see. We've got a professor's research. Not my professor. Man professor was my professor. Oh, that storyline, though. Uh, we got... <laughs> Don't even get me started on how much I love this story. I don't know why I called it stupid. I just, the cute rage, it took over. I love Fido so much from its name to its appearance. Can we have a doe cat? Cause like, oh my God. Hoofda. And then cloth, cloth. It's a cloth, cloth. I don't think I've ever said cloth's name out loud. Cloth, it's, it's doing things to me, cloth. Okay, my memory card's about to be <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what just took over me. It just, uh, uh, I think I'm, I'm feeling a little bad about this box all of a sudden. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I love this line of Pokemon. It's so cute. If I hadn't have had Meowskarata on my team, I probably would have done this line of Pokemon for my grass Pokemon. So stinking cute. Quaxley, we've got a Ponyard, a Crushing Hammer, a Rock Chest Plate. I don't mind the evolved form of this Pokemon. It's really the beginner for some reason that gets me. <laughs> but we've got an Energy Switch, we have got Cutie Patootie Reverse Sprigatito, and then we have a Hollow of the new Electric Mouse Pokemon. I want to pronounce it where the T is like silent at the end. I don't know if that's correct, but I've always been calling it Pomo. But then I also know that the previous form is called Pomo without the T at the end. So maybe it is supposed to be Pomot. I guess I'll just call it Pomot. Okay. I can be wrong. Let me be wrong. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Something about it, I <laughs> Let's get into the next pack. Let's do better than a hollow, shall we? Can we? I don't know. Croc Rock, just hanging out, chilling. Mankey, we have got Squawkabilly. Capsicid, which I, I do, I think it's kind of cute. I hate the fact, like, the, the thing about the the uh, yeah the the information about it really grosses me out that its teeth are used in ingredients to make things spicy ew i don't want to eat teeth i mean i don't like spicy food in general because i'm a baby but like especially if they were teeth mm, mm -mm, not for me cutie patootie 
We've got a Pine Co. Hey, we got a Full Art! The side of it! These look, the, the it's so much more flat, the texture. I thought it was just a normal hollow that I was seeing peaked on the side. I mean, don't get me right or wrong, Penny really wasn't my favorite character. I thought she was pretty flat, like the texture on this, kind of boring. But she's really cute. <laughs> like, really cute. And I want that backpack, though. You know cosplayers are going crazy with Penny. Yeah, right? They have to be. I don't know if they've started yet, but like, just to wear that backpack. Come on, come on. I want that backpack. If that backpack ever gets made, I will own it. I don't care if it's like 200 bucks. I was about to put that in my not hit pile. Penny, that's gotta be a big hit. I feel like people like Penny, don't they? I don't, maybe not, maybe I'm making that up. Like I said, I didn't love or hate her. She just kind of was there for me. The whole Team Star thing, I didn't care for that storyline personally. But, uh, sorry, I, I need to get the hang of the new card thing. Oh, we got a little clay baby, cutie patootie starly burb. Uh, we've got, ooh, two artworks for Flittle, okay. But yeah, I thought, I don't know, the whole storyline for the Team Star thing, I just, I didn't really get it, I guess. It just didn't hit me. My memory card filled up. If I got a hit in this pack, the haters are gonna be hating. Uh, this Flaffy artwork. <laughs> I might be biased because I love the Flaffy evolution line. Uh, Ampharos definitely has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. But this artwork of Flaffy is so cute! Oh my goodness. We got a Spupa reverse. We got a Quaxley reverse. Now let's see. I haven't seen any cards of the Fue Coco line. That's too bad. And we got a Hollow Cyclozar. Oh my god. I watched my boyfriend play through this game as well. The call of Cyclazar. I can't even, I won't do an impression for you. I, my body is wanting to do one because it's such like a guttural noise that that Pokemon made. I hated it. And he used Cyclazar, so I had to hear it all the time whenever he would bring Cyclazar out. And it just, bleh, it something, it did something to my innards and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> Am I complaining a lot in this video? I'm not trying to complain. I'm just talking about the new game. I love these new Tentacruel and Tentacool. Even though they apparently, yeah, you can even see it. It even says on there. I know it looks like Tentacool, but it's not related at all. I disagree. Now listen, I can't do any kind of science experiment to figure it out because these are not real things, Pokemon. But like, there's gotta be a relation. Come on, that can't be a coincidence. You know? And a hollow professor's research. Where's my professor? <laughs> Where's... Uh, what a good looking professor. Uh, not a good... Uh, were they... De have we determined whether or not the professors in this game are good or bad people? I don't know. I feel like bad. I feel like bad. Arvin deserved better. Any child deserves better. Are we gonna agree on that? <laughs> and especially considering Pokemon technically is a children's game, my god, what a storyline. Uh, Blissey, what a cute artwork. Love it. Tatsugiri, we've got another good looking teacher. <laughs> we got a Silicobra. to me. <sighs> My heart is going to explode. It's going to explode in the doughiest, most delicious way. Look at that artwork. Look at that artwork. I mean, theoretically, should I be a little disturbed? Is he disturbed looking at these breads? Don't worry, dude. The, the breads were never alive. It's okay. These are, this is not your brethren being sold as food up there. Um, but either way, Coridon, hello, nice to see you. Oh, what the heck was that? Did you guys see that? There was like white stuff on there. Ew. Again, 
child's game. Ew. Um, but that Fido. <laughs> So stinking cute. Oh my God. I wanted so bad to have Fido on my team, but I wouldn't have wanted to evolve it. I mean, the evolution is fine, but Fido's where it's at. And like, I needed strong Pokemon on my team for this playthrough. If I was going to play Pokemon again, like let's play Pokemon. Um, Chansey was worth so much experience point. I felt so bad going around and killing all of the Chansey that I could find. It felt a little targeted. It felt a little wrong, but like the experience was so good. And I don't know why. I mean, it's just a first, you know, base. Usually those are not worth much. You want to kill the evolutions. I shouldn't say kill. We are, we are defeating Pokemon, right? That would be the proper way to put it. Uh, let's see. There we go. There's, there's the, is he a, a skeleton croc? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people like this evolution line. It doesn't do anything for me, I guess, good or bad. It's just kind of there. But I, I'd certainly like it more than Quaxley's line. Let's get that. <laughs> Let's get that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I want it. I, a lot of people think it's really cool. So I guess I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you guys think it's cool even if I don't care for it one way or the other. I haven't decided, do I want to toss the energies? Do I want to leave the energies? I'm glad they're there so it can protect that last card in case the card happens to be valuable. But either way, let's see. My memory card filled up, how rude. Okay, let's see, what do we got? I don't know if I was, oh, look at this clay baby. I still need to know what happens to these. Please, Yuka, Tell me, you have a collection of all of these clay babies you've made because, oh my god. So, they're all, they're so cute. I want them all. Ooh, I haven't really been paying attention to whether I've been getting reverse rares or not, but that's a reverse rare. I'll take it. And then, ooh, okay. So, we've got an EX of Miraidon. This is the card. Is it different at all? from the promo that we got as a jumbo card in the Paldea boxes. I can't tell. It's not quite, I wish the star pattern showed up more. It's a little dull looking. I guess it's not the worst looking. I just want more of them stars though. If you're gonna put the stars on there, let's see them stars though. Okay, but Maridon EX, I like it. Let's. Yay, EX cards, they're back. Yeah, I forgot to mention that too. EX cards, that's a thing. No more V cards, yay. Not that they were bad, I just hated that they were called V cards. Although I guess, I don't know, should I hate it more that the other thing in life is called a V card sometimes? Maybe. <sighs> hmm. I'm trying to think. Like I said, this is a mostly blind unboxing, so I'm trying to think of what hits I actually want to see out of here. But I really think, hey, there he is. He's grown on me. Pretty cute. Um, I really guess, I guess I just know about the Miriam card that everyone wants and that's selling for like thousands of dollars. At least maybe it's just the Japanese one, but okay, we have this dog that I really don't care for. We've got an energy search and then, and I, I love this new evolution in the line of, I don't care for Mankey or Primeape at all. They don't do anything for me. I guess I remember the anime and that brings back fond memories, but like this new form is so cool. I love the name Annihilate, come on, what a good pun. And it's just so cool. I wanna put it in my hits pile, but I can't, I can't. It's technically not a hit, but still really cool to get. Okay, let's see my friends. We are almost halfway done. I feel, I don't know. I feel like I've been chatty in this video, but also like I have nothing left to say, <laughs> which scares me. We've still got a lot of packs left. I could just do a, where I just name the Pokemon the whole time, you know, to fill up, fill up the space, but I don't know that I necessarily like doing it. There's the regular penny card. We have got Medicham cute. We have got that thing. We have got that thing. We have got that thing. And then we have got that thing. Let's move on to the other half of the box, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. How are you all feeling 
about this new set of cards. How are the pull rates? Because they're not feeling great, at least in this first half of the box. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe, oh, we had darkness energy at the front of each side of our box. What does that mean? Is there a really good dark energy Pokemon in this set that maybe it's, I also love this, like, I just, and the name, I just, is so cute. My God, I could just have a team of really cute new gen. Is it, it's gen nine? Right? I'm not making that up? Pokemon? Um, uh, it would be such a weak team. But my god, it would be cute. Hey, we've got Nimona. This pleases me. Would I have liked to have gotten the Gyarados? I do like Gyarados better technically. But I really like Arcanine too. And I got one of the cards! I got this crystal card! You guys, the texture, the new texture is so strange. It's so much smoother. I think I still like it. It just doesn't have as much of a textural effect. Like, I think that's one of the things I loved about full arts and stuff. I loved the texture of it. This is a beautiful card, though. Oh my goodness. And with your big flaming chandelier on your head? Arcanine, you look great. Yes, yes, oh my goodness. I'm so happy, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we did it, yay. I have no idea if those cards are hard to pull or if they're expensive or not. I don't care, it's so cool looking. It's so cool looking. And like the whole, I'm probably gonna say it wrong. Have we come to a consensus of how you're supposed to actually say it? Terastalizing, terra styling. Ter I think it's terastalizing, technically, if we pronounce all of the letters in the word. Um, I don't know how I feel about that whole gimmick. I personally never used it. Like I would always do it on the last Pokemon in a gym battle just because I knew the gym leader was gonna do it and I wanted to be all sparkly crystallized too. But I didn't, I guess maybe I just didn't use it in a, what's the word? Super strategic way. Maybe there is a super strategic way to use it, but I guess I would rather just do that at the beginning and send out the right type of Pokemon in the beginning instead of like, surprise! I know you thought I was sending out this Pokemon that's weak to your Pokemon, but haha, -ha, now I'm terastalizing and now I'm strong against your Pokemon. Maybe in real life it would be a lot more of like, uh, haha, -ha, gotcha, tricked ya kind of a moment. But in the game, I guess I just didn't care to take the time. <laughs> personally but I don't know did you guys use that mechanic much could have been cool I guess but I guess it would have also been a bit more impactful if you couldn't look up or you didn't know like obviously so the gym leader is a bug gym leader but their last Pokemon that they sent out who is it it's the they sent out Ter Teddy Ursa obviously it's not gonna be a normal type Pokemon she's gonna terrestrialize it into a bug Pokemon so like there wasn't much of a trick to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> we got Annihilate, we got a Defiance Band. Woo, so we did get a Crystal Gyarados. Obviously not an as rare form, but cool. So Gyarados EX as a, a technically not a crystal because remember there were crystal Pokemon cards that you could get very expensive nowadays um, and very hard to pull back in the day even more so now I suppose uh, but yeah ooh, look at that double star rarity I still don't really know what it all means <laughs> it's a new system I'll have to get used to it but really cool looking ooh. but so because it's Terra form it doesn't have the stars like the Maridon EX had okay okay it's something, and it's Gyarados. Yay, I love Gyarados. Always been one of my favorite Pokemon. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon, okay? 
<laughs> like I know most things it's like it's hard enough to pick you know your favorite color your favorite this your favorite that like at least let me do a top three but when it comes to Pokemon it's like can I do a like, top 100 though because like I could fill that up I could easily fill that up okay let's see what we got here and it would mostly i go for either the really cutesy pokemon or the really cool looking pokemon i feel like those are my favorites for sure but we've got a flaffy we've got a ponyard and we've got a hollow slow bro not i'm starting to notice my hollows are not looking very well centered there i don't know pokemon were you rushing to get this set out i don't know were they not that it would be a new thing for english pokemon cards <laughs> to be poorly centered that's pretty par the course but ooh, darkness energy is that just that's what it is today i guess we've got toad school we've got a rotom we've got a chancy we've got a rare candy we've got tatsugiri we've got i hate this pokemon so much <laughs> Dorkle, we have got Miriam as a reverse, okay. We have got Primeape as a reverse, and it evolved into an Annihilate. Again, poorly centered, but very nice. I think that's our first double up, isn't it, of a hollow. So, I don't know how many hollows there are in the set. I guess I haven't even looked at how big the set is. What is it, like 200 cards or something? Plus, obviously, the cards above that, like in the galleries and whatnot. I need to figure out what I'm doing for a card trigger for a system here. It doesn't feel right yet, but let's see what we, ooh, Tropius, we haven't seen that artwork yet. That's exciting. Let's see what we got in this one, my friends. We got a Blissey, very cute. And we got Professor's Research. Maybe it's just on this side. Is it just this side of my box that the hollows are looking poorly centered? Wee! They're not like off center enough to be an off center where I'm like, ooh, that's kind of cool. It's just off enough where I'm like, hmm, that's mildly annoying. <laughs> You know what I mean? Maybe I should do like a double. We can pull off the energy and then we can give out the code card. Nope, that didn't feel any better. <laughs> okay, Fido though. Makes me feel a lot better. Ooh, and a cute Dedenne. Very nice. We have got a Flittle. We have got a Breloom. Kilowattrel. We've got a Greedent. We have got Wattrel as a reverse. We have, ooh, we got an art card, yay! We've got, I'm so, looking so confused. I mean, some rage happened. My memory card filled up on my other camera. That's what happened. But yeah, you're lifting weights, but you also caused some kind of a problem here. You also took out some rage on, I don't know, is that your dad on the wall? Either way, we've got a Riolu art card, great. And then we have got a hollow, another double up on a hollow, right, I think? Or had I just gotten him as a reverse? I don't remember, but there we go. Let's see my friends. Can we expect any other hits? Can we get a textured art card? I haven't done that yet, have I? I don't think so. I think they've all been flat. Uh, do you guys need to see the energy? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just get rid of the energy and no one cares. Or should I just leave it on the back? Does anyone care? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sorry. Well, we go through these growing pains together. Let's, okay, Toad's Cruel. Interesting to see Cyclozar got a hollow and just an uncommon card in the set. We got a Reverse Rare Slowbro. That's a hit. We got a Clay Bebe Starly, and we got a Meowscarada as a hollow. Again, that's so annoying. It's making me a little sad. It's making me a little sad. Hmm, hmm, is it gonna get any better? Maybe. We shall see, my friends. Let's find out. Did they include any of the, like, weird, I don't know what they were actually called, uh, the ones that you would find down in the, in the, the hole, the dark hole, what is it? I can't think of what it's called. The Great Hole of Paldea, uh, the, the Big Black Hole of Paldea. You guys know what I'm talking about. And since I played Violet, they were like all futuristic, futurized. Are any of those Pokemon in the set? We haven't seen them yet, so maybe not. But I hope we get to see them eventually. We got a Cyclozar. We got an Electric Generator. We got something. 
Hey, we were just talking about you, kind of. I mean, you weren't down in the hole, but Iron Treads, all right. Oh, there, this has, yeah, it has the stars on it. I wish the stars were more visible. That's too bad. I hope the camera's picking them up a little bit. They are there. The star's all over here, but I really like the Iron Treads design. I think it's cool. It kind of reminds me of the, I don't even remember what they were called. I never had one. They were a little past my time of being a child, but I remember their existence anyways, but they were like little robo dogs and stuff. <sighs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And I feel like they had kind of the same like light up face where the face could change emotions electronically. I don't really, like I said, I don't know that I actually know too much about these things, but I do know of their existence. I'll try and find out what they were called and put them on the screen. But he kind of reminds me of them. Growlit, look at you, looking all cute. We've got a shove it. We've got the mouse hold. That's so cute. We've got a vitality band. We've got toxtricity. We've got a fortress for a reverse. We've also got a toad school for a reverse. And cloth. Why does it do something to me? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Are you enjoying Scarlet and Violet? Did you play the games? Which one did you play? Were you a Scarlet or were you a Violet? It's okay. You are allowed to have chosen. You don't need to play both of the games. I think that's unnecessary. I played Violet. My boyfriend played Scarlet. And yeah, there's the little differences, but really not too much. So I think it's fine to just play one of the games. And yeah, did you enjoy it? I certainly did. Growlith. Mareep. Skeledurge. All right, but the centering is back. Ooh, ooh, the centering is back to being good or decent or whatever you're gonna wanna call it. Okay, have I gotten a lucky or an unlucky box? You guys, I can't tell. I know I've gotten hits, but I don't know what's normal. <laughs> am, I, am I going to get anything else? Is there a chance that I'm gonna get anything else? Like any more art rares or anything? There've gotta be better art rares. Like better in terms of like not just the flat ones. Look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so cute. So stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's catch our breath. We have got Clawitzer. We have got a Dolive. And behind this, Coridon again. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Let's see if we can do anything more. Cause I'm trying to think, what did pull rates used to be in a booster box before Scarlet and Violet? Could you get more than one full art? Certainly, right? But sometimes, oh, I remember. Do we remember Chilling Rain? Where I got like three V Maxes and those were considered my full arts? because I remember and I never want that to happen again. So at least we got <laughs> some stuff so far, but can we get any more? Have they done away with rainbow cards? I mean, I know it's not guaranteed to get a rainbow in a box, but do they still have rainbows? Well, there's an answer. <laughs> Not to the rainbows, but of can I get another a full art? I, there's probably full arts that I would have preferred over this one. Certainly. However, we're gonna take it. We're gonna say yay, we got a full art. Does it look different? I feel like it looks different somehow. Because it's like a green, a shiny green outline. Okay. Is it gonna be like that with all the Pokemon? Or do they each have their own colored outlines? I don't know. This is all new to me, my friends. But did I just blow it? Did that just blow any luck that I had left? I would still like to get an art rare. One more art rare. I don't even think that's the proper term. Sorry, a piece of makeup just went flying <laughs> off of my desk. But I would love to get another art rare. So let's see if we can do that. And something textured, a textured art rare. That's what I'm gonna shoot for. 
or a rainbow, I guess. It just so I can see if the rainbows exist in this set. But let's see what we can do behind this. Okay, so no art rare, cause right there wouldn't be. There he is. That was my professor. Mm-hmm. You're a bad dude, but okay. Uh, can you get an art rare in the not second to last slot? See, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I really, as much as I like doing blind unboxings, it also makes it so that I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I don't know though, cause I don't. So, sorry. <laughs> I just love it. Really annoying to try and catch, but love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see. Arvin, we've got a Cacturn. I, Mesa Goza, I'm sure there's an accent you're supposed to put in there somewhere, but Seviper. Hey, we'll take a new holo, right? I haven't gotten this, I got this as a reverse, but not a holo. Oh, I'm so happy the centering went back to normal. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, what can we do with this third to last pack? I don't know, I don't know. I'm hoping for good things, but Nothing is guaranteed, especially when I don't know the new pull rates. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I just love thinking of this little guy dancing on the speakers <laughs> during the gym match. So cute. So cute. Oh boy, my friends. Okay, all I can think about is am I gonna get anything new? <laughs> surely, surely, it's a new set. Flubebe, technically I haven't gotten this as a reverse, so that's something new. Sand Isle as a reverse, that's something new. <sighs> Moving on. Yes. Second to last pack. Second to last pack. Let's see. I don't know if I like... I don't know. I feel like I've talked about this before, but like with code cards that used to give it away and everything, whether you were going to get a hit or not. Sorry, I know my memory cards, they're just... <laughs> I keep thinking I deleted enough and then apparently not, but I, I don't know that I like it not knowing if I'm going to get a hit or not. I guess it makes it kind of more exciting, but I kind of liked it when I was like, ooh, I actually got a hit in this one. You know? I don't know. I don't know, how do you guys feel about it? You're allowed to feel however you feel. There's a new holo, okay, okay, the little tag team guys. That was an annoying one to figure out. It took me such a long time to figure out that challenge of how to do with the, oh. <laughs> I had to talk to all of the little Tatsugiris and it just, that one took me a while. That one, that one took me a while. <laughs> But let's see. Let's see if we can get anything new in this last pack with the water energy. Is it possible to get the Arcanine and the Gyarados crystal cards? I don't know. I know I shouldn't call them crystal cards, but because they're they're like crystallized, that's what my brain wants to say. But let's see. Let's just get new stuff. Can I get one more art rare? I would really like to get one more if I could pick. So we've got a reverse. Oh, we got the rare candy. Oh, we got something. I don't know what it is, but we got something. <laughs> it's a piggy, <laughs> but it's something. So we're going to take the Oinkalone EX. Look at the stars. Look at the sparkle. We're going to take it. Who's ready for a recap? I don't know how to feel about this, you guys. I think I got a good box, or at least a decent-ish kind of box, right? I feel like I would have such a bigger hit pile if we went back to hollows not being a guarantee, you know what I mean? But taking the hollows out of this, it makes it feel like it got less. Um, but we still got stuff. We got reverse rares, which I wasn't paying extra good attention to throughout this whole video, so I might have missed one or two, but we did get a few reverse rares, which exciting, and uh, by a few I meant four. 
I'll take it. We did get some EX cards, which I don't know how common or uncommon those are to pull, but we did get a handful, a few of them, which again, I think I got four. Um, we got some like regular ones, right? We got the Iron Treads, we got the Oinkalone, we got Miraidon, and then we also got the Gyarados Terra EX one. It's, it's just, it's a little different in that it doesn't have the stars all over the place and it's a terraform. So like, I don't know if that's harder to pull or anything, but it's a little different. And then we did get a few art cards, no textured art cards, but we did get a few art cards. We got Riolu and then we got two that are like so cute. I'm like, I'm so happy I pulled them. Pachirisu here. I mean, I'm sure they end up being like worth a couple dollars, but whatever. They're so cute. This artwork, shut up. I love it. And then this Fido, again, this art, shut up. I love it. And then we did get a few full arts. So like, that's awesome. We got the, I swear to God, if my memory card fills up one more time. <laughs> but we got the Great Tusk EX for our full art, so. I'm curious to know what the other full art Pokemon were in this set. I'm sure there were ones I would have preferred over this one, but that's okay. We still got a full art. I'm gonna be grateful for it. Uh, we also got Penny, really cute. Love this full art, very glad I got it. I want that freaking backpack, <laughs> so bad. And then we also got this Arcanine EX, which I am so excited about. Like I said, I have no idea what kind of classification. I guess I could check. Is it the same? It is a two star rare above the set list. So like, are we just considering it a full art maybe? I mean, I'm okay with that. I just like, don't know. Is it super ultra rare? I don't know, <laughs> but like, so happy to have pulled it. It looks so cool. Definitely one of my favorite cards that I pulled here. And then we were able to get a gold card as well. We got a three star gold. We got the nest ball in our very first pack. So I'm just, I'm so happy that I was able to open up this set with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed being able to see the pulls that I got, get a look at this set if it was new to you as well. I like I said I have no idea if I did well or not but I just I feel good in being able to look at these new cards I'm so excited to get them all sleeved up and put in a binder which of course I will be doing a build a binder with me video that will be separate from this but you guys will get to see that so don't worry it will be coming soon and you'll be able to see me put together a binder of all these cards which I am so excited about and yeah like I said I just hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family be it here on this channel or my main channel i'd love to have you here there and everywhere and as always i just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye